Welcome to this course in which we are going to learn about how to create and use Camix as a learning tool in your lessons. My name is Javier Ramos, I'm an English teacher at primary school. I'm also the author of this course and I will be here to help you along it. Looking back into the past, you will realize that the storytelling was the first way of teaching. From cave paintings to capital, in columns in ancient Crete, or the troubadours in the medieval squares up to reading stories to our little kids. As a teacher, you may not think of yourself as a great storyteller, but every day you act, you tell stories, because being a teacher definitely involves acting and theatrics. Along this course, we are going to work on why storytelling is important, different ways of using storytelling in our lessons, and how to create a comic as a way of working with storytelling in the classroom. Stories are not just literary narratives, but also ways to illustrate even the most complex and abstract content in subjects like science or maths. The stories are able to engage our thinking, emotions and imagination all at once. With a story we can make the subject more accessible to students, gain the attention on the concept when we are starting a new topic, make knowledge easier to retreat and assimilate new ideas and build a path to understanding. There are multiple ways of using comics in education, but sometimes they have been left behind because they were not considered a proper narrative or literature example. We can use a comic for lots of things from an educational point of view. It is a great visual representation of knowledge and it makes graphics which contains key information easier to remember also as a powerful tool to engage students with lower interest. It is an amazing way of dealing with writing, reading and thinking at the same time as the students are enjoying the story. A comic, in a task designed for that purpose, could be a very useful tool to assess the student's learning process. If we want to work using a comic in our teaching, we should check that we follow some principles in order to be really effective. Focus on one main concept, open with a hook that may catch the student's attention, create the timeline of the story by working backwards from the end to the start. The use of comics for learning new concepts is not the only way an educator can take advantage of its many uses. Comics make a powerful assessment tool. You can gain lots of personal information about your students and their feelings. As a metacognition process, your students can add a strip to reflect about what they have learned along this day. Comics can be created using certain contents or vocabulary. By accomplishing the activities within this course, you will be working on the digital content creation area of the common digital framework for teachers. It will help you to achieve level C1 of competence 3.1, developing digital content. We hope that with all this information and the tasks and activities we have designed for you, you are ready to use comics as a digital storytelling tool in your lessons. Do not hesitate to ask your questions and share your ideas through the social networks using the course hashtag in Twitter and the Facebook group. I will be happy to meet you there.